going on? Humble Breed Billy family about to take y'all on the trip with me to go to the pet store. We gotta go pick up some stuff. I'm gonna show y'all how to intentionally clean y'all dogs today. See y'all in a little bit. So today we gonna go over to Monster Pets. We're gonna pick up a couple different items that I get. I need a little bit of dog food, so I'll talk, walk y'all through some of the supplies that I use, some of the chemicals and solutions that I use for my puppies when it comes to grooming. You should always want to clean your puppies like every two weeks. That's what we do over at my camp. And I'll walk y'all intensely through how we do it, step by step. I'll see y'all over at the store. for the puppies with the sensitive skin. Also, we just got the regular gentle tear free for safe for their eyes and different conditions like that. Also, so we need to get, we needed some more eye wipers. Eye wipes for the wrinkles, for the tear stains, so it's good. Start with the cleaner of the face. You just keep it right to the pad. You see a little faces. A lot of stains on it, so keep it prepared to remove it. See, I'm gonna watch us. See her face. Close to the nose, we can. Dogs tend to move, so you just hold them right under the nose. Just with a warm rag, and just before you put the solution on, try to just wipe it out. A little, little older, more stubborn, so she tends to not like this part of it. I heard other dogs are jealous of the little one from it. Mm -hmm. Relax. Relax. 
You stuck in here, buddy. Tub and take it to the shrimp pan and condition it, and we'll get back into that lightning again. Try to get some more of that out with the shrimp pan. I'm just gonna put the bag here, get the rinsey bag out. Keep it nice and wet. Too much of our lightning, but too much of our time, bro. Too much of your hands. You want to be tender. Okay. 
blue. Okay. Let's kill a different general tariff here than the other typical shampoo that we use. You can regular shampoo can damage the eyes and make the eyes uh, burn a little bit. So if you want to get this one, this is good. Make sure that you want to eat it. It's in the food. You can look in the food. Then you won't damage the burning eyes. Yeah. Regular shampoo can be used, but it's going to be super sensitive and very careful. If you have your eyes, you can break it down and break it down. Okay, let's try this one. She says the eyes are the first thing because it's so sensitive. She let it build up so bad. I said she's older, so she's stubborn. We're gonna get you cleaned up. Regardless, a little stubborn we are. Okay. Come on. I'm not to do some energy with the I'm talking about the rest of them with you to the next thing when we put them to thin your nose and cutting them up so you can get them back in your nose. Ooh, it's really dirty. You see what I did? There you go, girl. Look, damn. Come on. You get the tank out. Nice and clean, though. 
leaves them a little bit damp, no matter how much you get it cleaned off. Blue, she's one of our dogs that actually likes the dryer. Some of them don't, some of them might be scared of it, might run from it, but it's also very important to make sure that your dogs are super dry after the bed, so you don't have that wet dog smell, or leave any type of waters in them to give them dampness that can put any type of infections on the dogs also. So make sure that you always get them super dry after the bed. And you see that the Red, this is some of the debris on the face is going down. She hates this part, but after a few weeks, I mean, if you did have the tear stains or anything on the face, it'll get better over time. But you gotta keep applying it. And that should go away easily. Blue, ready for blow dryer? Yeah. Yeah. This week, now it's nice and short as y'all can see. Really, no clipping to do. Okay, it's time to clip the nails. You can use these two tools. We have a nail clipper, and also when you clip the nails, sometimes they stay a little bit too sharp. So it's best to recommend it to get you a filer as well to get them smooth all around, so they're not scratching any of your children. If you have anybody that comes, you they get excited and I'll jump up and claw a little bit, but just to make sure that they're smooth and safe for everyone. Usually you could just follow it down a little bit and it should be fine after that. But that's pretty much it for the bath, man, you know? After that, you can, you know, also wipe their errors out, take them and um, 
get them a little bit more dry. But other than that, that should be really it for the dog, man. And then uh, on to the next, we got even more miserable situation for the dog. It's always good to have a treat for them. So I always used to just compliment them and let them know, good job. Just so the bath time can get a little bit easier for them. Maybe they can relax and give you an easier time in the bed. So I always have a treat ready for the dog once they're done. Good girl, Lou. Good girl, Lou. Hey, Lou. Come on. Hey. <laughs>